Chinatown night market. It is total chaos. Gonna be big and busy here. And awesome lights. Have a look at that. And great food. Go oh, my way. This is so good. Oh, Not quite sure where we are in the world. Hard to tell by all the signs. <laughs> oh man, how epic is this street? Oh yeah, we go with the street. Uh huh. And look, we're starting to close it off. Night time is coming. Yeah, check it out, guys. Getting ready for the night service. Uh huh. All this stuff ready. Eating a supper, so he's ready to serve you. Wow, sugar cane smoked duck. It's like a whole duck. It looks like a whole duck. And you can get pieces as well. Is that pork though? Or is that duck? I think that's probably pork. Loads of fruit. Yeah, loads of fruit. <laughs> oh, it is Dorian country. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't smell as bad as it used to. Maybe this one's not right. Oh, and then he pulls it open and. Whew. No, keep going, Rick. I can smell it now. Yeah, it actually looks like we're on the main street here, but I'm just going to swing you guys around. It looks like it continues down here, all the way down there. The cars are still driving through. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, here comes the bus. Oh, wow, that's not the bus, but check it out. Yeah, these old school buses. Oh, he's letting us cross. He's letting us cross. Thank you. Because on all the side alleys, they're side alleys. Oh, chestnuts. Dorian. Yeah. You should come early because then you see the gold stalls open. How's this one? That's a billboard above it. That's not a real shop. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Love that. This Chinatown all around us is the most trustworthy place to come and buy gold. Yeah, people come from all over the world. The real thing here. These are not plastic. Oh, and they got all these things. What are these? Those are plastic. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I recognize this. This is going to be a dim sum place. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Check it out. Yum, yum, yum. The street of Chinatown. The streets of Chinatown. Let's go down this way, Rick. It's supposed to be a great noodle place somewhere here. Ah, uh, if only we could read Chinese. <laughs> oh, check out these dumplings, right? Beautiful dumplings. And then fry them. Oh man. Oh, yummy, yummy. I know, I know, right? Why, what's the price there? Is it five for 60 or is it a hundred for five? Yeah. Bird's nest. It's in the title, guys. Still not sure what they do, but we'll figure it out. I don't know what that says, but look at what it is. It's like a deep fried something. It's an egg with something fried around it. Fried noodle and egg. Fried noodle and egg. Oh, you get some of this soup. Gravy. Gravy. Oh man, look at what he's frying here. Don't know what he's frying, but it looks like he's frying something with... Oh, this is the fried noodle thing. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh man! And then once it's fried a bit, it's gonna end up like that. Oh man, look at that! That is how beautiful it comes up. But anyway, they got so many more to make here. These guys are the busiest guys in Chinatown. Another one out. Wait for it. No time. No time to waste. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see him flip that? Oh wow! Next one out. Deep frying one. 
And then on to the next one. Okay, so they have this egg noodle fried thing. We're getting one with pork and the gravy, I think. And it's like a hundred baht. And then they got a large chang for a hundred baht. Of course, there's a array of condiments on the table. Dried chili, that looks like. Some sort of pickle. Something, something. Wow. That looks quite hot. And other bits. Uh, thank you. Uh, maybe with ice? Do you have ice? Okay, okay perfect. Thank you. Wow, so cool. You can let me feel, feel it. Knocked over some eggs. <laughs> it's a little bit warm. You nearly knocked over eggs. Yeah, yeah. Because they're cooking and then I stepped back for someone and there were eggs behind me. <laughs> so they got loads of things on this beautiful menu and nothing is overly expensive. I think we're getting this fried noodle, but instead of seafood gravy, we're getting pork gravy. Or you can get chicken. And then he turned around and said, pork is always 100. So I think anything you get here, it's 120 with the seafood, 100 with the pork, and 100 with the chicken. Got it? Good. And the Chang beer at 100 is actually... The large one. But will add his hand for scale. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Look at that sizzle. Oh, that is so cool. I was not expecting that. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I think the egg yolk is still egg yolk. Okay, so it's quite raw. Okay, no, yeah. I think you maybe crack it open a little. See if it is. Decide Look how well that. done you want your egg. Oh, my word. This is so cool. Oh, man. It's like a hot plate for something that's already fried. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe that we're eating this on a street in Bangkok. And the noodles are still crunchy. There's a noodle. It's still hard. Oh, like around that egg. Oh, wow. These Look are fried that. noodles. He actually fries up the noodles in the frying pan, then puts the egg in, and then, oh, it's leaking, it's leaking. Why is it leaking? Turn it around. We, we, don't, have, we don't have structural integrity. <laughs> Fluid dynamics table slopes therefore the food will slope <laughs> oh Ricky's gonna add some stuff oh look how sticky that is oh what is that texture gravy oh no that that's gluey Fish sauce? I think so, yeah. A little bit of fish sauce. So that gives a lovely MSG flavor. Natural MSG. Chili sauce, maybe. Yeah, it's chili sauce. You're just making this for pictures, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get some of the noodle coming here because I think it's oh, it's still crunchy a little bit. Oh, lovely. But I want to get that a little bit of the gravy oh. and a little bit of the pork all together with well, of course, you gotta have a bit of greenery on top. It's like an explosion of textures and flavors. There's crunchy, there's gluey, there, there's meaty, and, and everything mixes together to make this, you can't describe a dish. 
Wow. It, it, it's like deep flavors as well as deep textures yeah. that makes any sort of like sense. Like a perfect Thai Chinese dish. I think so. It, it's like, yeah, you can't explain it. You have to try it for yourself. But that's what it is. Texture, flavor, explosion. Oh, right, let's give that a go. Oh, I think you got this really gorgeous sticky noodle thing, but then because it was on the hot plate, it's got like a scorched bottom effort, so you get that little bit of burnt bitterness. It's really, really quite good. And that gravy also gets scorched. I don't know if you can see that there. So you're getting that stuff. What a great start. So unique, a little bit spicy. I wish there was a way you could pick it up and lick it. But it's still hot. <laughs> yeah, although the plate is too hot and heavy. Uh -huh. So good. You need some more of that fried noodle thing. I wonder oh, if you man. could just buy one. I really want to just eat one. Like, just hang, hang, hang. Brad's going to go ask. I asked him and he said yes, so 30. Like a street food. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so that's that noodle thing. Oh, it's really crispy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, compared to the one with the gravy. Yeah, in it, yeah, nice. No, you must get it when it's when it's just been poured, so it's That's boiling hot and crispy. It's gonna be super cool, and that egg is just oh, good. I'm just gonna take a bite out of it. Just uh -huh. like, <laughs> no, you want no, to. You have been wanting to since we saw it. Mm. Oh, just get into the egg. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, that is the money. Maker, they should just sell these. <laughs> they should. It was so good. Oh, look at it all go. <laughs> oh man, it's really nice. They should sell this as a street food. You just walk around and snack on it. Looking for this place, and of course you are. The guys will be wearing these maroon shirts, hopefully. Kua Polamai. Down this little side alley. Streets are filling up. Tourists are coming out. The evening started to fall. Uh-huh. We've already eaten it. <laughs> we go home now. Come and see it for yourself, it's no. better. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't experience it yourself. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you get from these guys, it's gonna be good. But get the fried noodle with the egg thing and just eat that. Yeah, when you come pick some things off the menu, maybe that, that fried thing with the seafood or, or any of the omelets or the thing that we had, but, but, get that egg crispy thing. Totally worth it. Yep, starting to get a little bit more lively. Yeah, there's still hotels on this road and a 7-Eleven, so you can stop and get some regular juice. And you can drinks. actually even stop and get a beer if you want. We've yeah, seen yeah, quite a few people. Don't you mind you walking around with one. We're still not quite there yet. <laughs> and the Hotel Royal is actually getting onto the street food scene as well. They've got roasted duck, roasted duck spring rolls. Oh, it actually is the Royal. It's yeah, yeah. Royal wow, hey, one piece. 20 baht, or you can get 180 for 100 baht. Oh, one box, it says one box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, two, four, five pieces. So, Those would yeah. probably be pretty good. Might be a scale. One <laughs> for 20 or five for 100. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they do try and separate you from the traffic. With these yeah, yellow things. Yeah, walking street now. Yeah, yeah sort of. <laughs> Crispy pancakes. I'm not sure how you cross the road. You don't. You take a taxi. No. <laughs> Super interesting things. I have no idea what they are. Something over there costs a thousand. I think it's the bird's nest thing again. Okay, yeah, yeah. Bird's nest. Yeah, for spit from a bird. Oh, and these guys have some fish balls. Hello. 
Is it tasty? Yeah, we had a gym salad. Yeah, okay. Wow, well, okay, look, they've got some, some dumplings. Yeah. Green things. Is it a Thai dessert? A Thai dessert. Nice. nice. We'll get you on the way back for some dessert, maybe. <laughs> There's a boots pharmacy. Some lovely fresh fruit. So we've got some pineapples, some mangoes. Looks like we bumped into a seafood area. Whoa. Oh, we got some live ones here. Yeah. Huge. You hear her? It is just so busy here. You got the cars there, right? You got alleys with cars coming in and food going around. This is like must be the most foodie place in the world. <laughs> here we are, we actually have a price here. Yeah, six pieces for 300 or 15 to Whoa! <laughs> They're actually cooking something on fire here. I wonder what it is. Well, it's pretty cool about this whole area. You can get sparkling water if you want. And flavored water. <laughs> oh, you can get yourself a plate of little fishes. Oh, are they for eating me? Oh, there we go, massage. Okay. Okay, and the little fish will give you a massage. Anyway. Well, here's the Chinatown pricing. 150, 200 and 250. Yeah. One hour, 200. Yeah. Wow. There we go. Thank you. This is a confirmed side alley. That's a side alley off a side alley. If it had street food on it, I would go eat there. Delicious. Oh. Calamari. Calamari. Jellyfish. Jellyfish? Yeah, you're me. I'm cooking for you. Wow. He's, he's cooking it now. What's this one? Yeah, you're oh, yeah, he's actually got his fire here. Okay. Now. It's nice and hot. Looking, oh. looking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look, oh, proper whoa. coals. Yeah, you're yeah. me. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Not for us just yet. Thank you. One <laughs> for you. One fifty baht for one hour. Wow. For one hour. Yeah. Then come back here. <laughs> Tonight it's our first night, but we're here for one week. I know. I know. I don't see you now. Especially for you. Fifty baht one hour to see the market. Then come back here. See the see the temple. See the anything. Then come back here. It's hard to make, but not tonight. Yeah. Well, that was Tony. He's pretty awesome. Now we don't know for sure, but normally if it's that sort of price, fifty baht to go all the way around. He's probably going to stop at every single tailor, every single restaurant, that sort of thing. And yeah, I can't blame the guys. They make a commission. And the night sky is starting to look epic with the... Look at These are actual working oh, buses. We have to go and take one of those. Look at Spend our wheels. 50 baht on that, yeah. And then go on tour. The night sky bling. Man, I... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, did we just pass it? Yeah. Pudding. It's this place, RCU, yeah. Oh, okay. What really? is that? I have no idea. No idea. Well, apparently this road is very famous for its fresh orange juice. Looks like you got orange juice here. And a squeezer. There we are, and there's the pricing. It's not just street food, they also have restaurants here. And um, they serve things nest. that are not bird's nest. No, this is all bird's nest. It's all bird's nest. Yeah. All bird's nest. Wow. You can get in a coconut on a papaya. Wow, and it's Meat. expensive. Meat. <laughs> not 100% sure how I'd get up there and put my feet in. But apparently these massage them or eat the skin or something. Or maybe these are the top we eat. Sounds like music. Oh, there we are, it's a band. Wow. 
Well, we just stumbled into pudding. Guys actually cooking donuts here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, and they're actually making them here. Freshly rolling them out. That's the secret. The groove is the glue. Now, if only there was a way we could tell what they tasted like. Oh, what's that? Green. <laughs> like a big tub of green. Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh. Cause we're in Bangkok. Uh huh. Do as Bangkokians do. <laughs> it still tastes green. Yeah, this is a custard, but it's very like grassy. Okay, but the donut's good. Go and try it more than once. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Doesn't matter what the green stuff is, it's deep fried batter. What can go wrong with that? It nothing, so nothing. <laughs> you should be able to, well, someone will. They can't move, so we might as well just walk through. Whoa. Wow. When you get to the other side, turn around and look at this green puzzle. Wow. Have a look at that. We should have been filming that. So busy trying to get across there that I didn't realize. Have a look at the street. And it's just me. No traffic. Oh, we got the walking man. Take your time, guys. That's awesome. Go get a photo. Let's go get a selfie. <laughs> Quick. Oh, you're definitely going to run over. You're not doing anything. Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is actually the Canton House since 1908. You can get a beer and prawn noodle for 500. Wow. Way swish inside. Now Ricky says this is medical stuff. I suppose what ails you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah, and this is a whole shop to it. You don't get little parts to eat. You get bits that you rub on. Oh, it's the start of the day. The guys are getting ready. Some have to go out and clean. Some have to go and keep us safe. This is pretty epic. But it's like, I think it's like safety talk, you know. Okay, we're into the people section. And the things on fire section. Wow. Yeah, that is on fire. Oh, wow. Can't even imagine what it is. Oh. No idea. Man, that is hot work. Oh, here we go. Too close, too close. Step back, step back. Cracks people in. 
<laughs> ah, there we go. Welcome to Bangkok, everyone. <laughs> and it starts again. Wow. <laughs> Oh, he probably has to go. Oh, okay. He probably has to go across the road, looking for his people. And we're heading into more of the street food restaurants. Are they street food if they're restaurants? Probably not. Restaurant foods, let's say. Finding a spot for us. Oh, here we go. Perfect spot. Wow. You know you've come to the right place when everything's sold out. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's on the drinks menu. There's manna something worse. Is that a noni drink? Were you trying to get me to drink noni? Noni mono. These are their famous soups, and I think it comes in small, medium, and large. So we're just going to get a small, and then they've got such other delicious looking things. Thank you, Coke and Sprite. Nothing weird. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then we're going to get a small deep fried crispy pork because the people next to us have it. It looks and it so looks good. Amazing. But then I spotted this as well. Fried fish with ginger gravy. But we're gonna be here for a while and this market happens every single every night. Every night between you can come back every night. Every night. Oh thank you. Can you smell the pepperiness? Mm. I'm just gonna eat it. You gotta to come to Chinatown to get the proper pork. Mm. Crispy on the outside. It's got a really savory gra savory gravy. Wow. Savory gravy. Savory gravy. <laughs> I'm using that word from now on. Savory uh -huh. gravy. But the meat is so soft and succulent, like it's rendered all the fat through it. Mm. Oh man, that is so good. <laughs> they have um, sugar. I've been told it's um, mostly for Koreans. They like things a bit sweeter. Soy sauce in case it needs some salt, some pepper, and we have a chili. Well, that doesn't look like the vinegar chili. No, that looks like a proper matured chili. This is a rolled noodle, and it actually it starts out like a square noodle, and then when it hits the boiling water, it rolls up like a macaroni. It's like panning for gold, but it's for pepper. Wow. There was a time when pepper was worth more than gold. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm panning it out. I'm gonna go sell it back in the past. Night at roll noodles. Oh, look at that. It's a food experience. Well, new pavements, but wow, what a meal. Oh, when this building started to go lighter. Sort of. Oh, there we go. And everyone is taking selfies, well, photos. Now I've seen it all. Look at this. These are little squids. These are bigger squids. Just come to Chinatown and look at all the fish tanks. <laughs> Free aquarium. Five minutes later. <laughs> no, no, these are much bigger. How awesome is this place? Yeah, it's also Michelin, that's why it's full. <laughs> 
no idea it's gonna be good guys oh right, there we are when I said there you are you guys have to figure out what that is because we still have no clue oh, man, we're getting to the busy section <laughs> Oh wow, could it be bigger, busier? Crispy butter. Not only crispy, but cute. It can't be butter. <laughs> wow. Moving off the main alley, to head down here. <laughs> loads of stalls, loads of people, loads of restaurants down here. And a lot of smoke in there. Yeah, a lot more seafood down this side. And he's actually grilling it over there. So many people here now. I think we're at the end of this aisle. Might carry on a little bit further down, but the lights end here. And look at the size of those spring rolls. Yeah. One alley back. That's why you're always on the ground floor on the main road. <laughs> something I just want to note while I'm remembering is that I didn't see any places that had bathrooms <laughs> <laughs> yes so there were loads of places but no bathrooms yeah I didn't see toilets and normally you see like a place that's got like a paid for toilet or something but yeah just bear that in mind <laughs> well we're back to the main street yeah this is where all the tuk-tuks are ready to take you home so I guess we're at the end Wow, Chinatown Night Market. It is total chaos and awesome lights and great food. Thank you, thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>